Good morning from London. You know, I was thinking of starting this video off with a very thick British accent, but I'm gonna do you all a favor and not do that. For the next five weeks, I'll be calling London my home. I actually originally booked this trip to be a two week trip. You know, I thought that would be enough time to spend in London, but after spending two weeks in Lisbon, I quickly realized two weeks is not a lot of time. Two weeks is, it's not a lot of time to balance exploring the city at your own pace and not feeling rushed to, you know, always be out shooting every day, um, but also wanting to balance in, you know, relax, chill days and work days so I can make video content for YouTube. It's not a lot of time to do all of that in two weeks. So having already booked two weeks for London, I was worried it wasn't going to be a lot of time for me. Out of luck though, my return flight to Boston got canceled, so I had an opportunity to rebook uh, for free. And ironically, I ended up booking one more week than I actually intended to. So I was gonna add two more weeks to my trip, ended up adding three, so I'm here for about a month. So it'll be a good test for me for you know longer term travel. I'm guessing by week four or five, I'm gonna have a really good sense or a better sense of what it's like to uh, live in London and you know be a photographer photographing these streets every day. <laughs> so that's a long way to tell you that I'm here for a while, um, but I'm excited about this trip and yeah, there's a lot of photographers that are based in London that I know through Instagram or through YouTube, and I look forward to meeting them for the first time. I've been here for a few days actually already, um, but apparently I've been really lucky with the light. You know, London's known for really moody, rainy weather, um, but every day since I've been here, it's been pretty much sunny, but it looks like that's not going to be the case for much longer. I don't know if you can see this well, but it looks like I'm not going to be seeing the sun for a while. I guess that's London though, so I might as well make use of it while I have it.
right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that first little bit from my trip here in London. I've got a ton of video ideas uh, for this trip, and there's just so much to see in London. I want to thank you all for sharing your location recommendations of where I should shoot. Um, you guys shared it with me on Instagram and on YouTube, so thank you for that. And thank you for the warm welcome as well. Starting to pour outside. What else is new? Probably just going to finish this video up and work on some of the photos I've been taking. With that said, I'll see you all in the next one. Love you all. Bye. A huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I've been using Squarespace for my own online portfolio for about five years now. A professional looking website can go a long way when you're showing someone your work, but you don't necessarily have to be a professional to have a professional looking website. Plus, Squarespace makes it really easy for anyone to get started making a website using their pre-built templates. And there's plenty of customization for you to start from scratch and make yours look really unique. My Squarespace site goes beyond just being a website for my images. It's also a valuable tool that I use as a photographer who mainly photographs the streets. If anyone asks me what I'm up to, I can quickly pull up a page from my website and show them that I'm a photographer. And I also have a QR code for them to pull up my own website if they happen to be really interested. So upgrade from your Instagram profile and create your own website. You can try Squarespace for free and get 10% off your first purchase when you visit squarespace.com faisal and use the code faisal. Links will be in the description.